So in this period, we had very active interventions in the profession, in the American Economic Association. We fought over everything. We demanded space. We demanded our own panels. We put, presented uh, things to be voted on by the, uh, the whole. We tried to change the job market situation, how that was done. So we were interacting at, with that, the, uh, the profession. Um, then it, it all depends on who you were. There, there were those of us who, there were people who thought that it was terribly important. Everyone agreed, at least at UMass, that it was important to teach the students the basic things that they needed to know if they were going to be economists and interact with the profession and, you know, get jobs and whatever. And, you know, not like, not like Harvard or MIT or Stanford or whatever, where you have to learn infinitely complex theories of everything and mathematize and so on, but enough to know the basic stuff that you were uh, going to do. And then some of us clearly thought that it was important, I would say Sam here, for example, uh, to always have one foot in the mainstream and to always work with methodologies in ways which will be acceptable to mainstream people. And uh, other people thought, agreed with Sam, that it, we, should, we should be trying to change the mainstream. Other people like me were much more cynical about that, about the ability to change the mainstream, and thought that we should be trying to create the best theories that we can, um, and whether the mainstream accepts them or not is, is probably not in our power to change and is extremely unlikely. So then th the next thing I would say was, all right, so, and certainly Stephen Rick felt that way. Uh, and then one could ask, well, did the mainstream get changed? So, I mean, for example, we did have all this New Keynesian models, uh, non-clearing labor markets, non-clearing credit markets, and so forth. The non-clearing uh, labor markets was, I guess, the, the translation of Marxist theory of the Zer's army into, into, into the mathematics of that. And others of us thought, including me, that th these were fine, these were good, um, but they were quite limited. Uh, there was still optimization. It was possible to optimize the, the one, on one side or the other of this markets, which means that you had to know the future, you had to understand everything, you had to have super knowledge, and that uh, it doesn't operate this way. Uh, and uh, that the end result is, is not much. So, uh, you know, you say, this, the labor market doesn't clear, the, the loan market doesn't clear, uh, you know, at the optimal, Pareto optimal point. How important is that? I don't know. If, if, the, if the standard uh, valuation general equilibrium bliss point of markets is, is here, and now we have markets that don't clear and they're not at the bliss point, are they here? Are they here? Are they big problem? Are they a little tiny, teeny problem? Can the state do anything about them? Maybe not. It's, it's disempowering. Do they, do the markets integrate? Is this a systemic integrated market system? When we do our non-clearing credit market, do we say we can't do this yet until we see if the, if the labor market clears? Mm -hmm. The markets are connected to each other. No, we don't do that. We just have this market here, this market here, this market here. So we've improved on the, the absurd Valrasian fairy tale a little, but we really have nothing to put in its place. Now, I'm not, you know, so there are some game theoretic models that give it some insights into things, but I don't consider this to be really, well, we, we, we're, we're not, we, we're not, we're not going to convert the mainstream. The mainstream does what it does, and they're not interested in us, and I don't think, I, I don't. Right. That's and my there's, view. There's That's a trade -off. There's always a trade-off between... There's always a trade-off. ...here an alternative, which requires talking to people who are working on the same problems as you are, who are speaking the same language. Building on each other's work means talking to people who are close to you. So there's a trade-off between that versus trying to keep your one foot, as you said, in the mainstream, 
keep the language that's... As a requirement, uh, as a constraint on your work. Hard to, I think there's, at some point, there's really a, a kind of a hard choice between those two orientations. It would seem to be the case. Um, now, I mean, I, again, I'm not trying to say that there's, that, that, that alternative work in, in ec economics of, of non-clearing markets or whatever has not created some insights or some room or some openings or some whatever. I'm just saying I think its views are quite limited and I don't think we'll ever convert the mainstream. Now, there, I mean, another of my colleagues might say the mainstream is converted. What are you talking about? We're all doing, you know, game theoretic non-clearing markets. What's the problem? 